What's going on guys, welcome back to Nolan TCG, and we are back here today with another deck profile, and it is for Melfis. So basically what we've done with this one, is we've tried to make this as budget as possible, so you're not going to see a lot of like high end hand traps and stuff like that in this list. It is simply designed to be as consistent as possible, just generate rank 2s, and off you go. So if you did want to see something with like more hand traps and stuff, this probably isn't the video for you. We will talk some options as we go through as to whether or not a card should be cut if you want to play hand traps, but ultimately it is a go first, kind of build as good a board as you can style deck. But before we do get started as always, please do remember to drop down below and hit that subscribe button if you are new here. I know like the people that watch these deck profiles, I think it's like 92% of people aren't subscribed that watch the deck profiles on the channel. So if you are new here, please do hit that subscribe button. We do do deck profiles every Wednesday. We do a special video every Sunday night. But let's get on into the profile. Okay, so starting us off, we have the cute Melfi Rabby. Melfi Rabby is up on his stump, so we have to play three of him so that he can be noticed. Um, the reason why we're playing this is because we're playing Rescue Cat. Uh, sorry, Rescue Rabbit. You can cut these and the Rescue Rabbits if you do want to play like more hand traps and stuff, but we just wanted to play Rabby. It's, it's tough to play this deck without Rabby in it. Uh, then following that up, three copies of Puppy. Uh, this is just your special summon, I believe it is. Yeah, from the deck. Yeah, special summon to level 2. Yeah, so this is your special summon. Uh, then we have three copies of Caddy, which is your Rota. Uh, these are the two that you play three of. So we are playing only two Fenny and one Pony. Um, these guys are good, but they're not as good as the other two. So the other two, generally, the special you something or add you something. These guys is grave focused and from hand is the special summon. So they're good cards, but they're not as good as the other two. So we're playing them in smaller ratios. Uh, then, following that up, we have three copies of Rescue Cat. Uh, this card can get you into pretty much anything in the extra deck if you resolve it. So, very good card. Three copies of Rescue Rabbit. Follow that up. Uh, this is just a special summon your Rabby. Uh, gets you into a rank 2 play. Then we have three copies of Amazonas Baby Tiger. Uh, this card just loops itself. So, like, they can come back from Grave every time you summon one. Really, really good card just for generating rank 2s. Two copies of Kalantosa. Uh, you want to summon this on your opponent's turn and then pop a card. Or you can pop a card on your turn. Doesn't really matter. It's just solid disruption. Uh, two copies of Veriforn. Uh, it is your standard level 2 tuner. Two copies of Hop Ear Squadron. Uh, this card, you just use it on your opponent's turn to make uh, your Herald. So you do your Herald play because you are locked into beasts if you resolve stuff like Obedience School. Then rounding out the monsters, we're playing... One copy of Prepare a Cerberus. Uh, card's great. It is essentially just a level 3 beast earth you can summon off Rescue Cat to help you go into um, that beast place. Uh, then following this up, we have three copies of Obedience Schooled. Card's great. Just specials you out from the deck. Gets your whole deck going. Three copies of Melfi Tag. Your standard Monster Reborn. is a quick play, but it is once per turn, so it can be a bit rough. Uh, one Hide and Seek. You can only use the effect once per turn, and it's continuous, so you just kind of want to play one of it. You don't want to brick with a multiple. Uh, two copies of Unexpected Die. Um, this card can also be cut. I was trying to get Air's Rock Sunrises for the deck, but I couldn't get my hands on them in time, so we're playing two copies of Unexpected Die just to summon Rabby from the deck. One copy of Monster Reborn finishes that off as just like your generic bring a card back. And the last of the spells is one copy of Pinpoint Landing. Uh, we're only playing one, again, because you can only use the effect once per turn, so seeing two is disastrous. Uh, in every end phase, you're going to special summon something anyway, so may as well play Pinpoint Landing. It's pretty much going to resolve every turn, so if you get into a grind game, you're going to be constantly drawing. And then one copy of Melfi Playhouse rounds out the main deck. Uh, the card's all right. It isn't amazing, so you wouldn't really look at playing three. Okay, next off we have the extra deck. So with this, you can change it quite a bit. I've essentially just played rank 2 turbo. So if you want to change it up a bit, you can. Um, we're playing like 3 ofs for the Melfis because we want to play as many of them as possible. So we do have 3 copies of Melfi of the Forest. Very wonderful ultra rare. And then 3 copies of Melfi Mummy. Um, you can probably trim these guys down in their numbers. I just kind of wanted to play 3 and 3 because it's a Melfi deck. Uh, two copies of number 64, uh, card's great for beating over stuff, you just kind of need it. Uh, Crumble Logos for negating things that are difficult to remove. Uh, one Mannequin Cat, yes, if, it, if you're in a matchup where you can resolve it, the card is great. Then for the Synchros, we have one Beast, one Barkeon, um, you just make these guys off either your Obedience Schooled, oh no, sorry, that locks you into 
beast. You just summon this once you kind of generate a bit of tempo. And the beast you just kind of summon when you resolve your rescue cat. Uh, two copies of Herald of the Arclight. This is for your hop ear squads. So when they hit board on your opponent's turn, you sink into this. Gives you a negation. And then for the links, um, you can either play this or Boral Sword. It is Mega Clops. So you are playing a lot of like rank twos. So making Mega Clops won't be too difficult in a grind game. And that will wrap us up here for the deck profile on this one. So as always, if you do have any changes you would make, comment them down in the description down below. And while you were there, again, if you are new here, do remember to hit that subscribe button. I know I said it earlier, but we need everyone we can get because we're getting very close to a thousand. That's getting me pretty antsy. But as always, I've been Ben from Nolan TCG. And have a good afternoon, everybody.